Here's variation D, which is Mississippi alligator or elevator operator. Okay. Now in this one, be careful. Uh, it's a lot of notes, right? So when you practice it, you're air bowing. Mississippi alligator. Make sure that you move your hand for each syllable. Okay. Now on the instrument when we start playing it's easy to get lost because there's a whole bunch of little movements so um, remember bouncing balls if you hit a ball and it goes dungu 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 right so the first one's the big one so using now you're not going to use your whole arm to play this we only need little bow strokes so it's just from the elbow out to the tip of your first finger you just kind of it's, it's like waving hi boom so Boom ba doo ba, boom ba doo ba. Yeah, the first one's a little bit more. Mississippi alligator. Okay, if you're doing it too much, that's okay because you can always calm it down a little bit later. If you're not doing enough, you may just find that you're getting muddled and lost in the rhythm. So feel free to go overboard. Good posture. Mouse hole. Bumps and thumbs. Both both thumbs. You need a nice bump here. Make sure your thumb isn't collapsed. Pinky, you need curved joints. Okay. Ready, M. Over to E. Mississippi alligator. First finger. And pop it off. Bow back to the A, elbow. Now we're going to do this differently. Instead of putting one, two, three, this time put only three on the line. Now tuck the second finger up as high as you can under the third and then pop off the third. That's the beginning of fingerboard geography. That's learning how to tell where you are by feeling where the other fingers are. So now the first finger, um, <laughs> there's a big empty space there. It goes halfway between the second finger and the nut, which is the raised bump at the end of the fingerboard. But you probably have a tape where your first finger goes. So put your first finger on the tape and it'll get used to the right feeling. So first down, second off. Pop off the one. Stop, over to E. Stop your bow, roll to the A, elbow forward, third finger alone. Tuck the second finger up high, pop off the three. Place the one on the line, pop the two. Back over to the E string, let go of your one. Stop, roll, elbow, third. Tuck, pop. Place, pop. Pop off the one. Stop, over to E. Stop, place your one. Stop, pop the one. Stop, roll to A, elbow forward, third finger. Tuck the two, pop the three. Place the one, pop the two. And pop off your first finger. Okay. Um, variation E. This is the alien. I call it the alien variation. If you speak French, you can call it chocolat, chocolat, chocolat. It doesn't work in English because everybody wants to say chocolate. Um, so the correct English is alien, alien. Okay, so it's a little bit like the Mississippi alligator, but this time we only have three. So it goes alien, and now we need to do an up bow. Alien. So you got to give a little on your up bow, okay? Alien. Practice it in the air. Alien, alien. All right, here we go. A string, check your posture. Nice bumps in both thumbs, curved pinkies. Uh, mouse hole under the neck. Violin up an inch. Stop, E. Stop first. Stop the bow, pop off the one. Stop the bow, roll to the A, elbow forward, third. 
tuck the two, pop the three. Place the one, pop. And pop off one. Stop, roll over to E. Stop, roll back to A, elbow, third. your first. Stop and pop it off. Stop your bow, roll to the A, elbow, third finger. Stop, tuck, play. Place the one, pop. Stop, lift. Okay. I'm getting squeaks. Um, I always insist bow first, arm after. Um, instinctively, a lot of people will um, leave the uh, elbow there and, and then somehow stretch their hand or twist the wrist. And once the hand has, the, this, the, the shape of the hand is called the hand block. Once you've distorted the shape of the hand block, your ability to play in tune is severely compromised, if I can put that in a polite phrase. Um, it can be nigh well impossible. Um, and to play a lot of violin music, I mean, your fingers aren't that long. So the, if you're stretching, the further you stretch, the shorter they effectively become. This, this is not to your advantage. So just take the easy and smart way out. Sometimes you gotta be a little bit lazy, you know? Just if you just pivot that elbow a little bit forward, it allows, see, if you move your elbow, your fingertips go the other way. And then they're just, it's genius. They're there. Theme. This is the intro. Now here, slow bow. Okay, so when we get to those long notes, we're, we're gonna use the same amount of bow but go slow. So you want to move half the speed so that by the time you get to the end of that note, it has been a long note. All right. Good posture. Check your left hand. Check your right hand. Bumps and thumbs. Curved pinkies. A string. Stop. E string. Stop. First string. First finger. Pop the one and now slow. Bow. Stop. Roll back to A. Elbow. Third. Tuck the two. Place the one. Pop the two. And pop off it. the first finger. Back to E. Stop. Roll. Elbow. Third. Tuck the two. Pop the three. Place the one, pop the two. Now this is slow bow. So we're roll over to the E, up bow. Stop, roll at the tip, elbow, finger. Tuck, pop. Place, pop. Slow bow. Okay, pop the first finger and now it's open A. A. Stop, roll, E. Place, first finger, stop, pop, stop, roll, elbow, third finger, tuck and pop the three, place the one, pop the two, and here's the slow bow. 